This video details the proper removal and installation of the upper iVend sensor system on your vending machine. iVend is an innovative infrared sensing system that contains an infrared light emitter and receiver mounted on each side of the delivery box. The infrared emitter projects beams of light that cover the opening of the delivery bin. During the first vent cycle, if a product is not sensed by the beam of the iVent system, the system waits one second, then initiates a second vent cycle, rotating the helix until the product is sensed as dropped. You will need an 11 32nd inch nut driver and needle nose pliers. Before doing any operation on your machine, make sure the power is turned off. To access the upper iVend boards, first remove the bracket. You will need to remove the six 11 32nd nuts that hold the bracket in across the center of the door. Then use needle nose pliers to remove the iVend receiver board held in by white standoffs. Then fish the Ivan board out and disconnect it from the sensor harness. On the opposite side, you will need to remove the bill box just inside the door to access the Ivan emitter board. Disconnect the jumper connector. Then remove the Ivan board from the white standoffs. Unclip the Ivan board from the sensor harness and remove. To install the upper Ivan boards, connect the receiver to the sensor harness. Place the emitter board back on the white standoffs. Reattach the emitter board to the jumper connector and place the bill box back on. To install the receiver board, disconnect it from the sensor harness. Make sure the smaller white pieces are facing toward the emitter to properly receive the infrared beam. Fish the sensor harness back through the opening in the door and connect it back on the iVend receiver board. Secure the board back in place on the white standoffs, which fit in the holes on the iVend board. Needle nose pliers can be helpful when snapping the boards back on the standoffs. Next, put the bracket back on across the center of the door to hold in the sensor harness. When securing the bracket with 11 32nd inch nuts, make sure that the sensor harness is not pinched or the IVEN sensor could get damaged. After this is complete, you can power your machine back on and test your IVEN. 